and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are just about to start or join wow, the Swedish Holy War for Finland. Um, hopefully this will go better than the Norwegian Holy War for Finland which I tried earlier and um, it didn't go so well. Lost, got humiliated by the Finns, the pagan Finns from Kemi and that one, Po Shanmar. So it didn't go so well. So now the Swedes, who were part of my war, have decided to give it a go. And I've got a little army on its way. Only 937 men, but it's not my war. So I'll press play and let's go. So you'd have a big problem throughout all of Europe at the moment with typhoid fever. It is affecting everywhere. At least it's not just me, I suppose. Uh, here we go, we're getting close to speed up a bit. Let's so walk. So how's this going? Got a big army here. It is as if I see Gunhild for the first time, her good-natured spirit, the interesting and funny quirk she has, and how lovely she really is. Could it be that I love my Gunhild? Why, yes. She's my wife. It's... It's nice to love your wife, I think. So, she's in love with me, I get some piety. It's good. I'm getting frightened. Oh, here we go again. Duke Scheiter the first now favours Prince Harold as the heir to the Kingdom of Norway. Oh, and now he favours himself. God, you think he... Alright, here we go. In I come. Now he favours... Is this a bug in the game? Because he keeps changing his mind. His father was exactly the same. Change his mind over who he favours every five minutes. I give it maybe a week. It'll be favouring himself again. If it wasn't for this war, I think I would be going after Iceland now. Skofja Giskin has contracted titled Fever. Damn, he's leading my troops. Ah, he's lost a lot of martial skill. He was up at 18, now he's down at 14. Uh, let's join this battle here, shall we? Uh, Prince House, I'm coming on his side. There we go, look, we are in Umberland Cusy now. Blimey, she's pregnant again! We're both very fertile. That's nice. Um, right, wait, wait, wait. I have a problem. One of my children lacks a guardian. Ah, oh, my daughter, Princess Marguerite of Norway. She's pretty, pretty standard. Nothing exciting about her. I wonder if I shall have her looked after by Now, I was using my brother, who sadly died in the last episode, or me. I'm not very good, to be honest. I think I quite like her to be good at stewardship. Or diplomacy. So I think the Chancellor would be a good person. Um, be increase his opinion of me, probably. get married. It's nice. I don't want... I don't know if you can want, but there we go. Let's get rid of... Yeah, it's always good to get rid of your children. Uh, let's go back into this battle. Little, <laughs> uh, little guy in the middle. Hello. There's not much going on here. It's a bit of a slow war. 
Come on. Be up a bit. There we go. They're destroyed. Victory! No prestige. Bit of piety because it's a holy war. It's good. So now we are sieging. Ah. Oh. It's poor got to read this. Dear son in law, blessings upon you and your house. And then blessings upon you too. It's um nice to hear from you. Uh, we request that you honour your obligation and answer this call to arms against High Chief Antanas the First of Lithuania. Oh, now the Danish Holy War for Lithuania. Who is it? High Chief Antananas. Lithuania. Where's Lithuania when it's home? Is this Lithuania? Oh, it's up here in Lithuania. Um, I'll accept. This one's almost over. I can wander through. Is this... I'm confused. Is this an enemy army? It seems to be... No. Is it? 803 is army of... from Saramania. Right, this could be a battle for me. So I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to fight this guy. If he is... Sometimes hard to work out who's on your side and who isn't. But I'm pretty sure he's an enemy, so I'm going to have a little bit of a fight on my hands. Harold asks, if a tree falls in the woods and there's nobody to hear it, does it make a noise? Hmm. Depends very much on your definition of sound. Um. Good question. You should ponder it on your own. Learning. Reduces. Oh, it's shy. Uh. You should concentrate on something useful instead. Diligent. Oh, seven percent chance to be diligent, and that would be in. That's very good. Arbitrary, not so good. Yeah, philosophy's rubbish. Philosophy means nothing. And he is diligent. Fantastic. Let's pause it again and just have a look at. Look okay, at Harold is coming on very well. He is going to be an amazing ruler. He's got no weaknesses. He's learnt, learned, and he's intrigueful. He's stewardly. He's not a bad fighter, and he's a bit diplomatic. He's going to be very, very good. I hope he survives. Because I think Einar is. is is basically a way to space. He's fairly diplomatic, I suppose, but other than that, ugh. he's just not going to become anything. Right, play. How's this doing? Mm. Um. I mean, oh, that became orange. That became purple rather than light blue. Okay. Alright, here we go. Fighting. Let's let's slow this down. This time I'm on my own. And I'm losing. Come on! Is this little guy there again? Oh dear. That was terrible. Um. Oh, we seem to be catching up slightly. Oh, 
Wow. How did that happen? Gained some party, but I gained some stuff, but oh, that wasn't that wasn't great. I lost a lot of men. Okay, we're still sieging, taking the siege nicely. Let's speed it up a bit. He's running away, he's going to arrive in Savo on the 22nd, he's gone. Doesn't appear to be anyone else coming, so I'll keep... Oh! My liege, peace be with you. I have discovered a plot where Count Otter, Utar, Otar of Opland, seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Ostland. Uh. Ah. Okay. We shall pause. Who was it? Oh, I've lost it. We've been attacked, yes, I know. Somebody was... Ah, he... is trying to become Duke of Ust... and which is me, I believe. Okay. Well, see how you do with that, then. Oh, we've got some fighting going on here. We should win that easily. That's not too much of a problem. Oh, so one of my so this guy, Count Otter, who is also wants my son to be. I'm. Um, how old is he? He's 52. I'd kind of like to get rid of him, I suppose. Anyone got a really low opinion on him? Oh, I could get his wife involved. Okay. His wife doesn't want to get involved. Oh, I'll keep it going, see if that happens. I tried before and had to... I cancelled my plot because the person decided not to be so nasty after all. So I didn't have to kill him. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm not interested to find out how... See if the other army's with me. I don't see... Yeah... Oh well, I don't know quite what that means, but we've almost won the siege. Did the Swedes lose? Victory! Oh, at the end of the year as well, that's nice. Uh, gold, gain some gold, lovely. The Second Swedish Holy War for Finland has ended inconclusively. Mias Harmalainen became unlanded. So that became Finland. That became... Did that... Oh. That became purple, which is... kind of... Sweden, but not Sweden.
Am I walking back then? Well, that was a bit of a waste of time. Ended. I didn't really get to. I killed a few people, I suppose. Okay, I can still create two titles. I don't have enough money to do it. I'll take this army back and I will disband it. Then I will wait a bit and then I will think about taking Iceland. Because I'm fed up of the Icelandic bloke annoying me. Which he does a lot. I change his mind all the time. Typhoid fever has passed. Everywhere. Looks like it. That's good. Oh no. Oh, another daughter. A lot of daughters. Still actor. Okay. What's Sweden doing? They're getting ready for something. They're putting an army together for some purpose. Maybe they're joining in the... Um, they're getting their boat. Maybe they're joining the Danish war for Lithuania, I suppose. Right, let's disband this army. There we go, it's gone. I don't think they're going to need me in this war if they've got the, the Swedes have joined in. They're not going to need me. That's fine. That's good. Um, no, I think it's back to just Oh, At age 52, Eric of Bindal died a natural death. Oh, poor Eric. Well, just a courtier, nothing important. Count Svein of Bergenshus has inherited County of Bergenshus and other titles from Count Brynjolf of Bergenshus. Because he's dead. Died in a suspicious accident. Okay. Okay, I've Danish Holy War's almost over. So that was a death. Factions. Count Svein. You're Svein. Count Svein of Bergenshus has joined with Count Otar of Opland in the plot to get Prince Harold. Um, that's not worrying yet. Um, still nobody wants to join my plot. It's fine. Military. Got a good amount of men I could call upon. Technology is going along as ever. Laws. Still got Duke Chaitor, Chaitor of Iceland, and my council is still all there. My steward isn't doing anything. I'm collecting some taxes. I need some more money. My main weakness is money. Well, Typhoid fever has got to Eastern Europe. Um, this war has got to be over soon. My heart missed a beat when I saw Einar emerge from the dungeons, covered in, a gr in grime with a bloody knife in his hand. Oh. Kind, patient, or brave? I think one. 
Oh, come on, that's nice. He's still thick. But he's kind. My king, I am pleased to report that the majority of the population of Hurriedalen have been converted to the Catholic faith. Let's share the Dalen. Excellent. So that is now Catholic. That's good. Still got all these up here which are Norse, but they're not causing me too much of a problem. They revolt every now and then, but nothing too bad. Yeah, this this can't go on much longer. You think? There seems to be no. High Chief Antanas the First, the Fat, is going to lose, and his wife, the Duchess of Lithuania. Oh, Hokon of Skansen. He's dead as well. Wow, he was rubbish, wasn't he? Oh, he's dead. Doesn't matter. Never mind. Oh, I've got lots of things to read. Count Svein, Count Knud of Rogaland, has inherited County of Rogaland and other titles from court from Count Svein, because Count Svein died of consumption. That's okay, I didn't like Count Svein. No, it was Count Otra I didn't like. I don't really care about Count Svein. Pope Alexander II granted the request by Count Orm of Hedmark to excommunicate Count Hokon of Vormland. Who's Count Hokon of Vormland? And Spine has contracted consumption and he's died of consumption. Do you want why? Vassals? Doesn't look like it. Okay, this guy. This guy is is annoying me. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. He's 27. He is the Count of Bergen's Hus, which I own. So he's quite an important person. And he's quite good at fighting. Therefore, I shall award him an honorary title. The Court Jester. No. Opinion plus 15. Um, Master of the Horse. I think he can be the Master of the Horse. There we go. You like me a bit better now? <laughs> Not much. Oh, he's got consumption. Maybe he can die as well. There must be consumption down here. Yeah, TB is rife in the south of my uh, kingdom. Oh, we've got some fighting going on here now. Angerman Land is started a war against the purple people. The Danish war over here is almost over. De Denmark is really doing well over here. How come? Oh, my mum's died. That's very sad. Uh, 
Oh, I can put Count Otar in prison. I don't really want to. I only want 54% chance. How come everyone else has tried a holy war and has been successful because nobody else joined in? I, on the other hand, go for a holy war and everybody joins in. And therefore I end up losing. Hmm. This is this little north area is being taken by upland, which is this lot. Well, they're walking across my land. I'm not happy about that. Seventy-three percent, almost gone. Osmond of Yemtland has declared Yemtlandic Holy War for Norland on Chief Thord of Ongerman land. Okay, so this guy, Count Ostmod, has decided to uh, attack this guy, Chief Thord. I'm not joining in, but yeah, go for it. And Gudrun was married to Count Scofia, has died of natural death. And now Svein, Count Svein, who doesn't like me, has contracted consumption. With a bit of luck, he'll die. Uh, that's not very nice thing to say, but get him out of the way. Now, there's not really much going on at the moment. I've got some money to spend. Now, titles can be usurped. Cannot usurp a title from someone who is at war. Okay. But I can create some titles. We've got the Duchy of Vestlander. Income. Bit of an income there. Or the Duchy of Yamtland. Oh, that's the same income. It's that. That area. Uh, get me 200 prestige. That's nice. Cost 163. I can afford it. Um, get a bit more money. Create. King Magnus the Wise has created the title Duchy of Vestlander. I've become the Duke of Vestlander. And now... It doesn't... Oh, I thought it would change that. I suppose I've got other Dukes, so I only get one vote, even though I've got three Dukedoms now. It's a shame. Oh, that's not done his opinion of me much good, has it? Because he desires the duchy, okay. So Count Ostmod's war has involved him standing there. Oh, fair enough. The laps are joining in. On mod. Everyone's got consumption. It's a shame. Lots of people are going to die. I might like some of them. I opened the stable door a bit quick and accidentally stumbled in on Ina getting his first kiss. No, I suddenly realised Ina is becoming a man. Uh, chased. Uh, ch chased. He gets extra piety. 40% chased, 75% chased. <laughs> lecture Einar about virtues and sins. I thought I said red lecture Einar about viruses and sins. So it's a bit, it's a bit early for him to be learning about, you know, that stuff, but okay. 
Let's go with teach him out some viruses. I always deceitful. I could be useful if he becomes my spy master. He could become a spy master. Oh, oh. Dangerous faction. Might I say shit? Duke Paul. Are oh, you like me? I think he thinks I've got too many duchies. Okay. Here's my marshal. I shall buy him off with an honorary title. Cupbearer or Seneschal. Not going to change that. I mean, it doesn't really matter because they are supporting someone who is also in my faction or in my dynasty. So therefore, I wouldn't lose the game. But I think Harold is still okay. Thirty first July. Ideally, what I will do then is give one of my duchies to Harold soon when he turns 16 when he turns of age I will um, I can award the title now Give him the Duchy of Trondelag. I can give him the count. I can give him a county and stuff, but I shall do that when he turns 16. Until now, I need to just hope that this faction. Ah, oh, Count Svein. He's recovered from his consumption. He's going to be a problem. I don't care about him. He's not much of a problem. Well, no, he's leading the faction. He is a problem. Let's slow it down. And hope that this faction doesn't do anything. Because I don't want... Actually, that slow was ridiculous. Speed up a little bit. 101% now. Just lowering. If Duke Paul could just leave this faction, I'm safe. Harold asks, why did you let off that peasant accused from poaching? Kind, what does kind give you? More diplomacy, less intrigue? Just... Arbitrary. He became kind. That's good. That'll do. The Danish Holy War for Lithuania has ended. King Knud III of Denmark won. He didn't used to be the King of Denmark. So now Denmark's getting quite big over there. I mean, I've lost my ally. I oh, know. He's also my ally. Oh, a good number of allies. There's not very really much I can do over there. He's his war still involves sitting there. Oh no, he's moving. He's moving. 
because because they've lost already, so he's moving in. Oh, it's finished. Marguerite has died of consumption. The Atlantic Holy War has ended inconclusively. Who was she? She was uh, the wife of Count Lodin. That's quite sad. I'll probably send them some flowers. Him some flowers. Not her, she's dead. Um, consumption has ended. What I really need to do... If this faction can go away, I'm then I then think I'm ready for to make a claim on Iceland. I'm annoyed that it's not mine. Fast forward. Wee. Awesome. Now, Bishop Ogmund of Nidaros has died after a period of illness. Bishop Ogmund is no longer court chaplain for King Magnus. Okay, so I need a, a new chaplain. You only have one choice, don't I? Get back to converting a populace, please. Population. I'm fed up with them being Norse. So that was that. Yes, I know, I just did it. Let's speed things up a bit. Armies appeared out of nowhere. Prince Harold of Norway is now of legal age. He became an indulgent wastrel. Okay. Right. It's going to take some. An indulgent wastrel. Well, he's clearly going to be a better steward than a spymaster. But Prince Harold of Norway claims that he would be a better spymaster than Count John, and petitions that he should be given the title of spymaster of the Kingdom of Norway. Okay. My current spymaster is 10. Harold is 12, so he's better, but he's a very good steward. My current steward is 13. He'd make him good anything, actually. Okay, oh! <laughs> oh no, I think he... Could I improve relations with somebody with him? I have a daughter doing that. Anyway, um, Count John of... Uh... No, that's not who I wanted. Count John of Telemark. He's 44, he's there. Uh, if I do that, let's fob fo him off for a bit. I don't really want to make a change right now. But pause. I have an unlanded son. I shall therefore give him a title. Grant a landed title. What do I have? I have Trund don't want to give away Trundelag. Don't want to give away Malmendal. Uh, it's like giving Finn Mark. Like, <laughs> that'd be cruel, wouldn't it? Given the very, very north, really cold bit.
There you go. You can have Finmark. Oh, that was a stupid thing to do. Because now I can't marry him off. I should have married him off first before I gave him land. God, idiot. That's a bugger. Damn it. Oh well, never mind. I've got some money to um, upgrade now. I want to increase my troops I can get. Because I don't have enough. So to build all these, I need gold. All right, Tron time. What can I do in Tron time? A good moat. I should probably just go to my capital and just upgrade my militia training ground. Oh, there's some fighting going on here. Who's fighting? Lapland against Upland. Slow down a bit. Right. Okay, so I shall press pause there and probably bring this episode to an end. It's been mainly admin work in this episode, trying to, you know, creating a title, getting my son some land, forgetting to marry my son off. Um, oh, the faction has... Count Knud has joined, but Count Paul has gone. That's good. So yes, I shall call this to an end, and in the next episode is going to be time to take on the might of Iceland, and because I am getting annoyed with them. Always change their mind, who are they currently supporting? I just want himself again. So, yes, that will be next time. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.